Tribune to keep you informed. I'm Michelle Jones and in the news, witness details of Tonya McDonald was scaled. Please remember to subscribe, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. Denver in Minot, the second witness to take the stand in the murder trial of Everton Beach's son McDonald and his co-accused Oscar Barnes, said that shortly after Beach's son's wife, Tony McDonald, was murdered and her car set on fire. He tried to stop a police car to tell cops what had happened, but the vehicle did not stop. The witness recounted the incident in the Home Circuit Court, downtown Kingston, on Tuesday. Minot also claimed that Barnes had pointed a gun at him after Tonya was killed and asked him where he was heading when he started to walk away from the scene. He claimed that while Tony was then on the ground beside her vehicle, lifeless, Barnes poured liquid inside the motor vehicle and set it ablaze using a lighter. Minot told the court that when the car started to blaze up, he ran down the road to a location where the murder and fire scene was out of sight. It was not long after that that the witness said he saw a police vehicle heading in the direction where the crime took place. The witness said he had planned to make a complaint about the murder of Tonya if the police vehicle had stopped. Tonya was stabbed repeatedly and killed on the short forest main road in Portland on July 20, 2020. Her burnt body was later found beside her race Toyota Axi motor car. Minot, who was initially charged with the murder, along with Beaches Stout and Barnes, pleaded guilty and was sentenced to 19 and a half years in prison, leaving Beaches Stout and Barnes to face trial in the matter. Minot, who subsequently agreed to give evidence in the case, said in court Tuesday, I walk down the road and I see a police seeker heading up the road with blue light. I try to stop them but they never see me. So I take a taxi and go home. When I wake up the next morning, I call a friend of mine and tell him about it because I never liked the situation. And then I got a port and turn to the police station to make a report. But I never made the report. I was feeling uncomfortable, so I walk out of the station and go home. The witness alleged that Beachy Stout, who had pressured him to have his wife killed, was not forthcoming with the $3 million he had allegedly promised to pay for the contract killing of Tony. The first time I got visit him after the murder, it was in his supermarket upstairs in the office. I got to him because I want the money for pay bonds. And when I got to him, he said, You think I saw $3 million easy for work? Him then started to mention things that happened in the past. I told him that it is the time now for the money because he was the one pressured me for the job to be done. I told him that I needed it and I also want back my personal phone. Him said I should check him back and I left without the money. His number called me the following week on the Monday, but he was not the person speaking to me. It was his worker, Minot claimed. Whatever Minot was told on the phone prompted him to visit the supermarket owned by Beachy Stout in Port Antonio, Portland. Mr. Beachy Stout that day, him tell me say like what happened, but him say can't make nobody see me in my talk. So we cut the conversation and me leave, and me never get no money. Me talked to him the Wednesday in a ranch hill district, Norwich, and he rode a nice black BMW. When he was turning the vehicle, him say, be care of something for you, no man. Him took out a bang of phone from the pocket inside the BMW, and said to me, call me upon the number ya. Him give me a new chip for the phone, and said to call him from it, because him don't have a number yet. The witness told the court that he was keeping a secret from Beachy Stout. He claimed that the businessman had given him strict instructions that the murder was to be carried out by him alone and that there was to be no twosome or threesome. The witness said that because he didn't know how to cut the throat of a human he contracted Barnes, who he trusted, could complete the job. Barnes completed the job and therefore the witness endeavored to honor his commitment to the alleged killer. Minot also told the court that on another occasion, he called Beachy Stout to talk about a lot of things. He said after speaking to Beachy Stout, he went into the phone and found an audio file, which he said he thought was a song. It turned out that it was not a song, and according to the witness, was a recording of a conversation between himself and Beachy Stout. He claimed that Beachy Stout called him on a different occasion and told him that, Yo bingo, me hung up the phone. I'm going to him supermarket on William Street this Saturday to talk about the money. He said he was going to pay me, but I feel hold on a little bit. I want Mr. Barnes to get him money, but I couldn't tell Beachy Stout because he already told me not to use anybody else. The witness detailed for the court what he remembered from the day Tonya was killed. He said he met up with her around 1 o'clock in the afternoon and asked him money. Minot said Tonya gave him $500. After Tonya gave Minot the $500 on the day she was killed, he said he told her that she can get the something later. I was talking about the gun. She answered me tell her that she took beer face. She go upstairs and said she didn't come and check me. So I see her again about 7 o'clock the night. She picked me up at Willie building where there's a pharmacy phone shop and close to her. She was driving the white Axio and no one else was in the vehicle. 
we went to still corner to pick up Mr. Barnes. Me tell him earlier that at tonight we are going to do it. It marks more time and me tell him to meet me at still corner. When we reach still corner, Barnes was sitting on a wall at the seaside. I tell Miss Mark to stop and let me call him. Him come inside the car and sit down behind Miss Mark and then me tell her to drive off and we go to Sherwood Forest. We saw a house and light and then we end up in a some bushes. Me don't know the place. When we reach at T Junction, Barnes said we can't stop here. Men not told the court. He added that Barnes instructed Tonya to turn the car around and she complied and to turn off the lights. Me come out and leave she and Mr. Barnes and the car. And Mrs. Mack said to me, Where you go leave me? You know, sister, run your so so dark. While me stand up beside the car, Barnes grab her on her neck from back way and start to stab her. And she start to ball out. And she shout out and say, My mother want me. And then Mr. Blood start to spray out her. Me stand up in the road and me never know if it do. Mr. Barnes then go back and pull the same back door. And Mrs. Mack drop out of the car and pan the road. When she was getting stabbed up, she was kicking and fighting. And he pulled her in the back of the car because she was fighting and racing with him. And so she come over in the back seat. She was lying in the road and I go over her. Ben down and was looking at her. I wanted to walk away when Mr. Barnes asked me where I was going. And in them pint one gun for me. I tell him to I go home. And before he moved, he took out a buckle from my pocket. And he was throwing something from the bottle of the car. When the car blazed up, I run back on the way to Port Antonio. I leave Mr. Barnes at the car. Mr. McDonald tell me to the car for burn up and I tell Barnes that. Me call bitch is out and me say, Mrs. Matt dead, you know? And him say, I would this. And I say, Mrs. Matt dead, he finished. And him say, good, Barnes alleged. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment, and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.